Welcome to Guns, Guns, Gary, and Guns with Gary Gunderson. I am Gary Gunderson. What I have here is a reproduction of a U.S. model 1917 Bolo service knife, but in an original sheath produced during the Great War. And this is actually a fairly common occurrence. But how did this come to be? First, let's do a short look into the origins of the knife itself. The Bolo is a traditional style of knife from the Philippines usually with a long, curved blade, which U.S. forces first encountered during their extended visit. Quite handy in a jungle environment, it was used by hospital units to assist in navigating the thick vegetation by cutting paths, clearing brush to build hospitals or other encampments, and making litters to transport the wounded. The 1904 model was closer to the original Bolo than what we ended up with here, and there was a 1909 model as well, which was just a less expensive version of the 1904. Then in 1910, they shortened the blade and adjusted the shape, which was then refined further to the less expensive version, the 1917 model. The 1917 model was the most widely issued bolo knife for U.S. forces and distributed far and wide during the First World War. It was often issued to machine gun crews or others who may need to clear out brush for a position. The scabbard also changed with the 1910 model and then the 1917 into a wood covered cloth and leather as seen here. They stopped manufacturing bolo knives for US military use in 1918, but they continued to see some usage through the Second World War. It was replaced by the M1942 machete which is closer to the original bolo knife anyways. I received this reproduction from a friend of mine, JP, whom I'd like to thank once again. One thing you can say in its favor is that this reproduction does not try to hide what it is, clearly being stamped Kiffy, Japan. Some of the reproductions have it stamped on the cross guard instead of the blade, but why do you always tend to find these Kiffy, Japan reproductions in original sheaths? The simple answer is the old surplus market from the 1960s. And I will say real quickly, take this whole story with a grain of salt, as all the information I can find seems to be the same, but also seems to originate from a single forum post from a number of years ago. So this may all be internet lore, but I will tell the story nonetheless. The Kiffy Company, whose name has gone through several slight changes over the years, got their hands on just boatloads of these sheaths, manufactured at the height of U.S. involvement in the First World War, seemingly outpacing the need of the actual knives. After discontinuing the bolo in favor of the machete, all these sheaths wound up on the surplus market for a steal. And Kiffy was an American company already selling other reproduction bayonets and military-style knives for the surplus market. They were already in the blade-making business and decided that you can't exactly sell a lot of empty scabbards so they decided to just manufacture the knives to fill them. No one seems to be able to identify the exact company in Japan that made these for Kiffy, and I can't find any production figures, but any cursory look at 1970 Bolo knives online will have these pop up for sale everywhere. I presume there are probably more of these than there are original 1917 models at this point. These reproductions were made in the 60s, roughly 40 years after the originals, but that was now 60 years ago. These are closer in age to the original Bolos than they are to today. And that's something to note as a collector. There have been a lot of reproductions over the years, and as time passes, it will be harder to tell an old reproduction from an original, especially the reproductions that recreate original stampings and markings, and don't try to clearly display their reproduction status. At that point, knowing what you're looking at and studying what you're wanting to collect becomes very important. And now this isn't the case here, as it is clearly marked differently from an original Bolo, which is marked US Mod 1917, plus additional information on the blade. However, me not knowing much about Bolos other than their existence until I was gifted this blade, I could tell it wasn't new and had some age, and honestly it was the sheath marked Brower Brothers 1917 that seemed too new compared to the actual blade, which has obviously seen some use and made me question it before looking up any markings. And of course, I had it completely backwards. Looking inside, you can see the wood interior of the sheath. Here you can see where it would attach to a belt. 
It does have some heft and weight to it behind it, but not nearly as much as a machete. Of course, knowing more about it now, this one has black plastic handles compared to the original wood, so it still shouldn't be hard to discern what's what between the two. But if you didn't know any better, and maybe if the grips were missing or the Kiffy Japan was worn off, you'd have to know your stuff to determine if it was a well-used original or just a worn reproduction. That's certainly a danger of the hobby. If you aren't an expert, you can easily be deceived by something that is now old, but not old enough to be an original. It may have the patina and look like something that's been used and aged, but that does not guarantee originality. Still, even though this is a reproduction, I think it's a cool blade, and it's interesting that you can find these out there if you look, and that they come with a legitimate original sheath from the First World War. It's certainly a fine addition to my collection. Thanks for watching, that's all for today. Please like the video if you found it interesting. Let me know if you found any of these Kiffy Japan bolos yourselves, or other reproductions that you thought were originals at some point. Please subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching.